Hey, good morning. Uh, today is Monday, September 10th, 2018. It's 7.29 in the morning. 61 degrees. A beautiful sunny day. Perfect temperature to go metal detecting today. Which is what we're going to do. I uh, just got off work. I have also just did the upgrade or the system upgrade on my Equinox. So I know a bunch of people have already done videos like this, but I'm going to do one too. It was very easy to do. Um, website, it's uh, on Mind Labs website someplace in the support section under uh, Equinox where you can get manuals and stuff. As a thing says download. Well, you download it. It works on Microsoft computers with Internet Explorer. It works with Firefox. Apparently, it works in Chrome. I did mine off of my early 2009 MacBook Pro and using Safari, and it worked fine. So, uh, plugged it in. Within a minute, everything's all updated. So it's supposed to help with some depth issues that was that was going on in the United States and something with silver coins and something else. I mean, I I don't find silver, so sadly. Well, I found that one silver that was great. Of that 1862 half uh, a couple of years back. I should actually go to that park and take the, the Equinox over there. So maybe we'll do that. Um, yeah, my hair is a little short. I got a haircut yesterday and yeah, they took a little bit too much off. And when I mentioned it, well, it was too late. So uh, yeah, so got short hair. Also, would like to thank a bunch of you guys who have subscribed. Uh, brought me over 700 subscribers. Never thought I'd hit that point. Uh, I never thought I'd hit 100. Uh, so I'm very humbled, and I want to thank you all. Uh, which is is funny because some of the other channels I watch, uh, they've hit like you know. 5 million subscribers, a million, I mean, insane amount of people. They're not metal detecting channels, and yeah, they'll, they'll gain and lose 700 subscribers in a day, but for me, this is uh, it's a big thing, so I just want to thank you all. Uh, it's, it's very humbling, so hopefully I can, uh, you know, make your subscription worthy. Yeah, just a message for all the new subscribers and anybody else who's first time watching my channel. Uh, this is primarily a metal detecting channel, but sometimes I do a little vlogging. Sometimes I take you along with a little, when I'm doing some sightseeing or on a trip or whatever. Um, but it's not always about metal detecting. Uh, sometimes I might talk about current events. Uh, or things going on in my life. Um, I've just been known to talk. Like right now, this intro's been over, over four minutes. But um, I've been wanting to go back out to my relic patch, but I've run into some issues where it kind of makes it hard for me to go out there. Um, nothing bad, it's just... Uh, still having problems with the window and I don't really want to risk going down a bumpy 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 dirt road with it until it's 100% fixed uh, the backstory on that uh, window got shot out with a pellet gun when I was in Korea the last trip uh, a nationally known window glass
last repair place uh, rhymes with uh, Safe Light <laughs> came out to replace it and well they're still fixing it. That was back on June 26 when that happened. Uh, their replacement windows do not work in this car for some reason. They just want to bind up, pop off track, all kinds of stuff. I'm almost thinking that something happened when they first worked on it. Uh, it may come down to me, well, I already asked them, or asked them what's the next step, because this will be when they finally call me and tell me they're ready with the parts. This will be attempt number six. Um, they're actually putting in stock glass now, or this time. And uh, if this doesn't fix it, then I'm going to have to take it to a dealer. And it's going to be on their dime. So hopefully it fixes it. Because I'd like to get out to my relic badge. I'd love to try the Equinox out there. But, um, yeah, for now it's parks. Uh, yeah. So, I'm going to get to driving. Well, I'm driving right now, but I'll get to, you know, actually focus on driving because I'm getting towards the town. And uh, we'll start this hunt in, uh, well, let's try the Equinox at the uh, park where I found silver. All right. Well, I'll catch you guys there. concentrate on this side of the park here where I'm parked next to and well, we'll see what I can find. If this doesn't pan out I have another spot I can go to they had kind of something going on this weekend. I doubt if I'll find something there but hey it's always worth a shot. Uh, yeah so let's go. Go change my shoes. I got steel toes on. Alright our first uh, diggable signal is a penny. There you go, Equinox. Got yet another penny. And how about a 1994 penny? That's uh, hole number two. Not really a hole, but I could get it with my fingers. All right, that's three dirty pennies on the board. Um, I'll spare you the pennies, how's that? Unless it's something phenomenal. All right, after a couple more pennies, we got a dime. Yay, right after the dime. <laughs> we'll take a quarter. And that's the second dime of the day. Wasn't too deep. It's really dry right in this spot. This one and another one I threw in my pocket already. Two more dimes. Only moved three inches. And there is our first nickel. Since then, I've Dug two pieces of oil, a couple more pennies, and some weird blob. That was a nice little spill. I'll take it. I know some of you might not like this one, but it's a railroad spike. I like that because this area used to have a train track going through it and a station. That's why I like finding that. Because, uh, well, it brings me back to the days when they used silver and gold for money. Back to the 1800s. Yes, I'm sweating. I ran into a snafu. My Deus MI4, or XP MI4, that I've been using since brand new on its first charge. And it's been through multiple hunts here, multiple hunts in Korea, and multiple hunts back here. Well, the battery finally went out, so I had to go run to the car to get my spare. Uh, out comes the White's TRX. Got a penny. Yay! I've been digging quite a few signals that I wouldn't normally dig. Uh, uh, 17, 18 of the bottle cap. Got uh, a couple that were should have been bronze pennies, but square nails. But there was a, a, a dead tone before them. But that's a solid 25 right there, bronze penny. 
And after that penny, we just got a dime. Not too bad of a hunt today. Well guys, I just got a first. An actual, real buffalo nickel. It's a 1937. Date's not half bad. And, yeah, the buffalo's got all four legs. I'll show it to you. Yeah, that's my first ever buffalo nickel. That is so cool. All right. Another first with the Knox. And a couple more pennies add to the pot. All right. A penny and a mangled bling. Feels too light to be anything else, but we'll have to look at it when I get home. I'll take it. Right, I think we're gonna end our hunt here with a dime. I just don't, oh, seems like a million pennies. So, I'll catch you in the car. So that was my hunt. It was two hours. I didn't realize two hours went by. It was fun, I had a lot of fun. Um, still wearing the Knox, um, I still like it. It's, one thing I've noticed, reactivity is not as fast as my Deus. Uh, so I have to get used to swinging slower <clears throat> but it's finding things that I didn't find with my dais in the same park that I've hunted with my dais eh, four or five times so <clears throat> sorry thirsty um yeah I have a bag full of stuff uh, I'm gonna go home get cleaned up clean up my finds and we'll go over them for the roundup. I know I haven't done a real roundup in a while, but this one's worth it. And I am filthy. This is all sweat. Um, I sweat. What can I say? Um, but yeah, my shorts are soaked. Uh, the grass had just been watered, so my, I got all muddy. I need a shower and I need to drink some water. So I'll catch you guys at the house after I get cleaned up, okay? See you there. See you with my hands. Yeah. All right. I'm home. I got a shower. I feel cleaner. Let's go over the finds. Yes, I'm in my kitchen. All right. First, the work. Um, we got my big spike. <laughs> got this guy here. Uh, square nail. Piece of trim of some sort. It was coming up like a quarter. Uh, this was in the same hole. Uh, the blob thing. Um, it almost looks like the base to a like lead soldier. This side's painted. So it's kind of interesting. But it's still garbage. Uh, we did dig two batteries, got some pull tabs, uh, some little odds and ends, a couple bottle caps. I was mainly getting out of the comfort zone of normal targets and trying to dig stuff that I wouldn't normally dig just to see what it would be. So that's the trash. Let's look at the treasure. Through the magic of editing, there we go. All right, that's a lot of coins. Oh, I found a ball. <laughs> All right, so uh, the ring is bling. Uh, there's nothing on it. It's definitely not silver. Um, I kind of squished it back and plating was coming off. So bling ring. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I ended up with three quarters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dimes. Five nickels. One is the buffalo, which we'll uh, set him aside. We'll look at him later. And then I have these in sixes. So six, twelve, well, one, two, three, four, five, six times six is thirty-six plus five, forty-one pennies. Good golly. So yeah, there's our uh, treasure. Now let's look at that buffalo real quick. There's my buffalo. 
It's a nice 1937. The date's very well pronounced. Um, it's got some toning, of course, because in the ground. He was actually about six inches down. So I know he wasn't a fresh drop. He probably made it in there with the filter. There's the backside. Here's the buffalo. I'm so happy about this thing. This is my first buffalo. So there we go. Happy, happy, joy, joy. There you have it. That was today's hunt. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was fun to do. I was having a great time. <clears throat> of course, I did not film all the pennies. I know you're disappointed. And I didn't film all the dimes or the nickels. But this would have made it a really, really long video. And it's already long as it is because I keep yapping. And I'm sure I'll have some complaints. Sorry, this is what I do. But, um, yeah, this is... As far as the update with the Knox, I couldn't tell a difference only because, well, I've never dug any silver with it. But I still think it's a great machine. Um, I think my Deus is faster. My Deus will always be my favorite. But the Knox is great for park hunting so far, and we're going to check it with relic hunting as soon as I can. So, yeah, I like it. So, y'all take care. Good luck out there. Happy hunting. Stay safe. And once again, I would like to thank everybody who has subscribed. Um, we have made it past 700 subscribers. Yay! Um, yeah. It's cool. So, um, yeah. Hope you all have a great day. I'm still kind of schmetty, even after my shower. All right, anyways. Y'all take care. Good luck out there. Happy hunting. Stay safe. And bye for now.